Hey everyone, and welcome to the Hemp Horticulture Series. Today, we'll be showing you what happens to the CBD and THC content in a medicinal hemp plant throughout the flowering cycle. Hemp is a strain of cannabis with a very low tetrahydrocannabinol or THC content, so that it does not provide the same psychedelic effects that cannabis is traditionally known for. And when the 2018 Farm Bill was signed into law, it gave the official United States definition of hemp as the plant cannabis sativa L and any part of that plant, including the seeds thereof and all derivatives, extracts, cannabinoids, isomer, acids, salts, and salts of isomer, whether growing or not, with a delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol concentration of no more than 0.3% on a dry weight basis. For medicinal hemp, it's with this official 0.3% THC number that separates it from being labeled as cannabis. And as we take a look at the numbers, you'll see just how interesting and weird this gets because of these arbitrary numbers provided by the US government. Now here we have a medicinal hemp plant that's grown from a cutting of a cherry blossom hemp seed. With the use of some training techniques, we're able to grow a number of similarly sized top stems, which will now start to flower. Basically, all the CBD and THC content of the hemp is concentrated in the trichomes and resin that the flowers produce. So what we'll be doing is harvest one stem per week off the plant once the trichomes start to appear to then dry and send into testing. Around four weeks into the flowering cycle, the first trichomes have started to appear, so we'll be taking our first sample starting from this point. For the fourth week of the flower cycle, we have a CBD content of 5% and a THC content of 0.2% as both are starting to rev up in production. By week 5, the CBD content of the hemp flowers is at 7% and the THC content has jumped as well to 0.3%, right at the threshold of what the US government considers to be hemp. By week 6, this is where things get interesting, not because of the CBD content, which is now at 10%, but because of the THC content, which is now at 0.4%, which means that if this plant was harvested now, the plant would be classified as cannabis and not hemp. So depending on where you live, this could be a huge problem. At week 7, we're at around the peak CBD content in the flowers at 13%. But if you're growing commercially or just want to ensure that what you're harvesting is still legally considered hemp, you'll need to wait as the THC content in the plant has peaked as well at 0.5%. Weeks 8 and 9 show that the THC and CBD is starting to degrade in the flowers. And finally, at week 10 of the flowering cycle, the THC content is back down to 0.3%, along with a CBD content of 10%, classifying this back to a hemp plant if you harvest it now. And this is why testing for commercial growers is so important, because if you harvest it earlier, your plants wouldn't have passed testing. But if you wait another week to harvest, by week 11, the THC content might still be at 0.3%, but the CBD has degraded even further, down to 9%. And, just for fun, I waited another two weeks to harvest the final part of the plant. And by this time, week 13, the THC content has dropped down to 0.2%, along with the CBD at 7%. And those are the numbers when it comes to the development of the cannabinoids in medicinal hemp during the flowering stage. If this gray area created from the arbitrary 0.3% THC confuses you, 
Just know that you're not alone, as a lot of people are trying to navigate through the same gray area as well. But we'll dive more into this topic, covering both medicinal and industrial hemp, in a future hemp horticulture video. Testing hemp is really expensive to do, so if you want more of this sort of content, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to support what we're doing, we'd love for you to join us on Patreon. As a patron, you'll get a copy of the Absolute Beginner's Guide to Creating CBD Products from Scratch ebook for free, as well as exclusive access to future videos before they're released, and all of the in-depth lab reports from the testing of these hemp plants. And that's it.